In this demonstration, it's still the same humanoid uh, type A. The AXS20 still in here in the head, but it's not being used in this demonstration. There is a GS12 gyro sensor uh, installed in the body here. And for a gyro, because it deal with the very fast rate, so visually it's not as satisfying as the AXS20 because uh, you see it's only when it's really accelerated and, and fast movement. So in this example here, we're still using that uh, balance ready page 120 that call itself. So the program is simple. It just call that page and it stay there. And then we initialize the uh, gyro. And essentially just pick up 10 data point, divide by 10, and then it check on itself. So if there's no gyro, we'll buzz, but we're going to have the gyro, so it's nothing happened. The key thing is in the callback. So if the callback is happening, use the same similar approaches, pick up the new rate, data rate, compare versus the, uh, uh, the balance of the center, the initial one. If uh, this is a case when it actually fell down, so we won't have that here. It will stand up. Uh, and down, and then same similar thing, uh, different coefficients to figure out the new joint offset, but then it's applied here. So more in the book, uh, uh, I explain the difference between this kind of uh, balance uh, of the GS12 versus the XS20. If there's nothing, it's just no offset. So that's have uh, it's having loaded the program to there. And uh, let's just let's see how it works. So let me put it sideways. It's ready to play. It will stand up. Go to that page one your eight. And then here, just picking up the data uh, for the optional balance rate and all that. So it actually you have to balance real fast before you can hear the motor turn. Okay, so let me pick it up. You see how it shakes? It, it's, I hope you can catch up on the video. Is the leg is adjusting for it. So, let's try this. So yeah, trying to adjust. Whoop, too much there. Let's try it again. Okay, I went with a good one there.